So we're going to start with the referees down here uh, in the field of play as we announce to you the uh, nominees for the best referee of the year at this year's Globe Soccer Awards. And best referee of the year, Mark Klettenberg. Gentlemen, if you wouldn't mind just taking a centre stage there for the photographers. And again, congratulations to our referee of the year, Mark Klettenberg. It all started when I was at school. Um, I, I played football, I enjoyed playing football when I was a child. And it was my school teacher, he just said to me, Mark, you're not going to make it as a professional footballer. Why not try refereeing? I said, you're crazy. I want to play. He said, no, you're not good enough. So I tried refereeing. My, my father was a coach. I refereed some of their youth matches. And I enjoyed it. I also made some money. Um, and I just took it from then. I was the youngest ever uh, referee in England to make it to the semi-professional, the second league in England. And then at 29, I was a Premier League referee. So it was so quick. When you progress through your career, you have like important moments. And, I remember when I first did my first uh, match in England, big match in England, uh, Chesterfield York was my very first match at 24. It was big publicity because I was the youngest ever referee at that level. 24 to referee this type of match was un unheard of. And I've had the chance to referee the, the biggest matches in the world. And here I am in uh, Lisbon to referee the World Cup, the World Cup final, the soccer, uh, 60 side. I'm looking forward to it. It's only one match I was completely satisfied as the Champions League final in Milan, uh, Real against uh, Atletico. That was the only game I was 100% satisfied. But if I talk before the night before, I, I was told I was refereeing the FA Cup final. Um, so my, my plan for the season was to referee the FA Cup final and do a semi final. I'd already done the semi final, um, Atletico Madrid and Bayern Munich. So this was a perfect match for me. So I was happy that I'd finished, or I'd led to believe I would finish my Champions League because no referee had ever refereed the semi final and whistled the final. I took a phone call from uh, Pierluigi Colina. His first words, words were to me, congratulations on the FA Cup final. I said, thank you. He said, would you like to go to Milan? And I said, perfect. My, my feeling was I was going to be fourth official. And then he said to me, Mark, you're not being fourth official. You're being a referee. I went, you're joking. And uh, I don't think his Italian humor and my English humor worked very well. He said, should I take you off the match? I said, no, no, please keep me on the match. Um, but I was shocked because for me to whistle the Champions League final was a, it was a dream. We went to Milan and we were treated like, uh, like I was the king. Police escort to the hotel, police escort to training, uh, security outside the hotel. And, but I was so focused and so prepared for this match. I, it was probably, I have to say, I've never been so focused. I've never been mentally so prepared for this match. This is why it was probably my most successful because I knew it was one chance, one chance to perform. For a referee, when you're refereeing a match, when the match goes to penalties, you know you cannot lose because the now there is going to be a hero and there's going to be a villain. And Cristiano Ronaldo, he, he took the final penalty, he scored. Everybody thinks he's the hero. The player who missed the penalty for Atletico, he's the villain. So, is a referee? It's perfect. <laughs> Small say the football is one of the biggest uh, participating sports now in the world. And I think for me, it's more enjoyable because it's fast, there's excitement. Sometimes in 11 aside, there can be like moments in the game where nothing happens, but the excitement, the drama it's brought. Even in this tournament, it's been uh, it's been fantastic. And penalty shootout is the kick is from the halfway. They have 10 seconds to score. A bit like ice hockey and hockey, it's a great rule. It's an enjoyable rule. It's difficult to score because the goalkeepers are making some good saves. You know, the sin bin is also something that I'm sure 11 aside is looking at because it helps the discipline on the pitch. But what I've seen uh, so far is <laughs> is the quality of players. I I was shocked. Is you know the players are such high level skill uh, and I'm sure that now this World Cup uh, we have future World Cups um, I'm sure the standard will get better and better and I just I'm looking I think the same for people is this this sport will for sure grow it'll grow uh, bigger I think you know people in different countries want to see six aside and it promotes more more good play you know like we say we 
we have many future events and I'm sure this one from Lisbon, the next one in Crete in Greece will be even bigger. I wouldn't I will whistle for sure I'll be there in Crete. It's I'm looking forward to it and if it's as half as good as this event here in Lisbon, you know, wonderful a wonderful setting here in the square, a wonderful stadium. Uh, and if it's half as good as what's happened here in Lisbon, I cannot wait. I hope that all the people around the in Greece and all the people around the world who want to participate in this event come and participate and the fans turn up in Greece and uh, in their thousands to to witness what we've witnessed here a wonderful a wonderful sporting event